I spent over $20,000 creating a software for students. And in this video, I'm going to talk about exactly how I did it, why I did it, and what I've learned working as a resident and trying to be an entrepreneur and building a software because I've done tutoring for years and coaching, but getting into the software industry is a whole nother ball game. And it's been a process, a learning experience. And I figured this channel would be a good place to document some lessons. And if those of you that are interested, who have seen me talking about the software, Software. So I thought it would be interesting to share, you know, what the journey has been like. So if you like this content, you're interested, let me know, like, subscribe, it would mean a lot. And let's just get into it. So the pre-med process is very confusing. And for those of you that aren't aware, my company, the pre-med consultants, we work with a lot of students who are trying to get into medical school. Now, one of the honestly hardest parts about pre-med is just understanding everything you need to do, because there's a lot of pre-med prereqs you have to take. There's a lot of other things you have to do, the extracurriculars, the clinical, the shadowing, and students get very very neurotic about keeping track of all of this and also don't always know if they're doing the right thing. So for example, a lot of students don't realize that when you apply to medical school and you're reporting your grades, you don't just send your transcript. You actually have to record every class you've ever taken and put it into the application system. Even if you've gotten a grade replacement is a good example of a common mishap that students go through when applying. So they may have, let's say, gotten a D in Orgo and then retaken it and got a B plus or A minus. And they thought that that grade replaced the old grade. But when you're applying to medical school, you actually have to put both grades on your application, even if only one of those grades is on your transcript. And so what our GPA calculator and our software does is it tells you all these different rules and also can calculate the different GPAs that you're going to get on your actual application. So these GPAs include your science GPA, your cumulative GPA, your all other GPA, which is essentially your non-science GPA. I know I'm getting into the weeds a little bit, so I'll try and keep it more big picture right now. But this is the goal of the software, and it's really designed to help students out. Now we're starting with pre-med, but we're going to expand this to lots of different areas. So pre-dental students, pre-PA students, potentially uh, high school students that are applying to college, also medical students that are going to be applying for residency. We see this software as a great opportunity to help many students at a low cost and really just make a bigger impact in the education world. So some of the lessons that I've learned building a software, the first is if you want to build something great, you need to be willing to invest in it. So from our company, we make money, obviously. Obviously. But really, a lot of that money, which I could just put in back into my pocket, I use to reinvest into different resources and tools for our students. So a lot of times the money I'm making, it's going right into paying for the software engineers for the software. It's going into different R&D costs. It's going to produce content like this for you guys. And of course, one day I hope that that pays off. But ultimately, if we can create a software that helps a lot of people, I'll still be happy. And I really think that what we're making right now, it looks aesthetically nice. It's very functional and I feel like built with boots on the ground, like really understanding what students enjoy and what helps them. And hopefully that's what will make it successful. I've also learned that it is challenging to take ideas that you have in your head and actually turning them into a reality when trying to develop a software. Now, there are a lot of third party tools that you can use to make courses now, lessons, things like this but we're really trying to build something from scratch. So everything I think of has to be translated to the software development team, which then has to actually put in the code that's gonna make it happen. And then we have to iterate on that, make sure there's no bugs. And so it's a slow process. And when you have a big vision, you wanna see things done right away, but you also have to learn some patience because these things definitely take time and you wanna make sure that you actually get it right. And then it's built with the ability to scale later on. However, what's been very cool is being able to take anything that's in your head and make it come to life, even if it may be challenging. We're starting to do some really cool things that I think are gonna be very helpful for students and anyone applying to medical school, dental school, PA school, all these other graduate programs. It's also a little bit scary because as I'm recording this video, it's a couple weeks before the live launch and I have no clue how that's gonna go. I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen when we have a much broader audience who are gonna be using the software itself because we've actually had a variation of the software for our internal students in our community for a while now, but we've never released it to the public. One, because I wanted to make sure it was built well enough to be able to scale to a very large population. And also because going to public is a whole different ballgame than keeping it as an internal software for your clients. And so it's been definitely a process and I'm super excited to see how the launch goes. Overall, it's been a very rewarding experience so far. We've definitely spent a lot of time making this happen. So if you are a student watching this, pre-med student, and you're interested in going to the launch on August 19th, we'll be giving away free basic 
subscriptions plus some really cool bonuses that will only take place at the launch then make sure to click the link below this video or wherever it is and register and i hope that you've enjoyed just hearing a little bit more about my journey as an entrepreneur developing a software which is definitely new territory for me but i really think that we're gonna make something awesome here and i look forward to it helping many students